Hello everyone, and welcome back to Breath of the Wild. I figure... Whoops, that's not the way to do it. I think if we're going up there, then... Um, oh, dang it. We're eventually going to challenge the, um, the Lionel that's up there. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well, that's fine. So, yeah, I'm not looking forward to that, but I think... Um, it won't be too bad. We we have plenty of preparations under our belt. Ooh, this actually is not good. I'm going to try and land somewhere from where from yeah, from where we can get a good wind bomb going. There we go. Trying to get to the the place where we get the shock arrow going where we have we have to hit that little mural with a shock arrow. And the lack of stamina is proving to be quite a hindrance in that regard. Yeah, so I've mentioned I have a new setup that um, will hopefully mitigate the sound from my controller, which it does seem to be working so far. Um, and it's pretty straightforward. I just have a big comforter over my controller, and my microphone is sitting on top of the comforter. Excuse me. Um, so the problem with that is that it does make, I mean, it covers my hands. And so it kind of makes the controls a little bit wonky just because like the folds of the blanket will get under my thumb while I'm trying to do maneuvers and things like that. So slight cost in controllability. But I think it's worth it. I, I I would much rather have that than deal with the obnoxious clicking. Because I, I hate it when I edit it. And so I can only imagine that there are other people's... Other persons... Um, people that hate it just as much uh, when they're watching it. So... Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll hope you excuse... Um, the occasional flub here and there as a result of that. That's kind of what happened with that absolute travesty of a wind bomb at the beginning. You know, it occurs to me that if I can get good at um, mid-air wind bombing, it might be worth it a while, because then I can combine that with her volley scale and wind bomb just about everywhere. Um... You know, disregarding the time it takes for Ravali's Gale to recharge. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I might, uh, I might end up practicing that between episodes. Almost there. There's a very convenient updraft that'll hopefully take me right there. Yes, yes, indeed. Okay. Um, so now. Nope, not high enough. Uh oh, I I screwed it up. No, no, <laughs> no. Oh dear. Well, that sucked. Let's try that again, shall we? Did that do it? No. Do I have to hit the face of it? Yes. Okay. Cool. That was way harder than it needed to be. If only I were good at aiming. <laughs> ah! Wow, that must have popped up, like, right underneath me. Interesting. Certainly wasn't expecting to be standing on top of it like that. Oh, it's a blessing. Okay. A diamond. Excellent. Yay, another spirit orb. Yay, we have enough for stamina. I'm going to be focusing on stamina for a little while because, my goodness, do I need stamina. <laughs> okay, um, so we don't actually have a map of the Gerudo Highlands yet. So I'm not exactly certain where to get to the Statue of the Eighth Heroine from here. I can make an educated guess, which, I mean, it's as simple as just following the edge of the cliff around for a little while. But I don't know how long it'll take me or where exactly it is, so 
just be kind of wandering around for a bit. And then once we get the picture of the statue of the eighth heroine, then we'll, um, we'll get the statue of her sword as well. And that's where the lino will be. So, yeah, looking forward to that. Joy. Is it here? Yes, it's right there. Excellent. Well, that was fortunate. It was also fortunate that um, I didn't pass it by. I, I had wind bombed across it uh, to try and get further around the mountain. Whoops. So, yeah, that could have been bad. But, nope, it all worked out well. Now let's go and find the sword. Ooh, there's a shrine over around here, too. Kima Kosasa. I don't remember what's in this shrine, but I'm sure I will as soon as we step inside. I've played this game enough times to be at least familiar, yikes, <laughs> with, with all the shrines. Like, once I see the shrine, I'll be like, oh yeah, I remember the solution to this one. So, it's just like I can't immediately put the name to the particular shrine, except sometimes when I remember shrines in particular locations, but even then I rarely match the names themselves up. Awesome. Get dunked on, nerd. Oh! I thought that would stop him. Apparently not. Oh well, good to know. Link, swing faster, please. Okay, fine. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. That's pretty bad, actually. I didn't think that would do that much damage. No. No lasers for you. Easy. I mean, I almost died, but I didn't. And I think that's the first time we've done a major test of strength without dying first. So, hooray, a milestone. Yay, a silver rupee. Okay, that's good. Gonna need rupees to uh, start opening up the Great Fairy Fountains. I should probably get on that, shouldn't I? There we go. Hello, boys. Give me the cube and nobody gets hurt. I wonder if they're going to be mad if I, like, kind of gently nudge them off. They seem very upset by the cube. I'm okay with this. This might be a little sadistic of me. Okay, um, well. See you later, friend. That's what you get for standing up to the might of the cube. Alright, see you later. You also die. There we go. I did. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hey, Farosh! Ooh, I wonder if I can hit the scale. Yeah, awesome. Cool. I gotta watch where it lands. Cool. That will be very helpful. Eventually, we're going to run into... Uh, that would be the Spring of Courage, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, yeah, it's nice to already just have a scale handy for that. Well, there's our Lionel friend up ahead. Are we ready for this? I think we are. A white-maned Lionel. Great. 
It's fine. We got this. Hello. Oh. Th thank you, Mifa. You thought. Come on. Good. Uh oh. That's not good. That is very much not good. Okay. Uh. We'll find. We'll still get him. I'm not worried about it. Ah! Oh, too early on that parry. All right, round two. Whew. Let's um. Let's get something that's not about to break. Okay, now we can switch back to this. Break the sword while not in a flurry rush. Okay. That's going to annoy me every time we challenge this guy, isn't it? No! Dang it! Oh, Mifa, you're going to be so helpful in this fight, I'm sure. Okay, that's slightly problematic. Alright, almost got him. In fact, I might as well just stay on that if I'm going to keep doing it like this. Man, not having the uh, the snow boots is really kind of hurting me a little bit here. Hylian Shield, though, coming in clutch. Okay. Almost got him. Got him! Okay, he's dead. Whew. Second try. That's good. Lionel Hoof, excellent. All right, so we took care of him. So now all that's left to do around here is um, get the picture of the sword, and then I think I want to go and unlock the tower. Huh, nice broadsword. That's unfortunate. Um, so yeah, I I'm gonna finish the episode after we unlock the tower. I don't remember exactly where the tower is, but I, once again, I think I can make an educated guess, so I'm not too worried about it. This little hill, hillock here looks like a good place for me to try and find the tower. I want to say it's like off in this direction. But I'm not at all sure. That's actually the Yiga hideout, isn't it? Hmm. I wonder if you can... I don't think you can just drop down on top of the Yiga hideout once you activate the quest. Oh! I think I see the tower. Well, I definitely see a tower. I'm fairly sure it's the Gerudo Highlands Tower, so... Let's go! Nice! First, let's get lag stopped. Don't care. What is a forest dweller spear doing way out here? Suppose it's not too important. Alright. Here we are. Hello, Cass. Um, what time of day is it? Looks like it's too late for us to get the shrine. Oh, wait! Maybe not. Hmm? Hmm, ah, forgive me. I was lost in a song written by my late teacher. He wrote it for the hero who fell to the calamity a hundred years ago. So much time has passed, and yet the hero has not yet returned. But my teacher always kept faith. I hope to play the song for the hero someday, so I practice it often. Oh, forgive me. It seems I've prattled on. I know a song about this place. Would you like to hear an ancient verse that's passed down in this region? Sure. Might as well open and close the quest. As light shines from the northwest skies, from the tower shadow an arrow flies. Pierce the heaven's light to reveal the prize. Just pierce heaven's light. Uh, if we do have enough time, it's going to be close. I still don't quite understand the lyrics, but knowing my teacher, they're the key to revealing a secret. Best of luck, and may the light illuminate your path. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to save real quick. And try and windball myself over there. 
Uh oh. Good thing I saved. <laughs> okay, whatever. I'll take it. I think we're in time. Yes, excellent. Cool. All right. Uh, that's the second time we just happened to be in time to do the puzzle correctly. What are the odds, huh? Well, let's do this shrine. It's probably just a blessing anyway, and then we'll call it an episode. It's faffing around in the Gerudo Highlands for a little while, so I, I don't really know how much time I'm actually going to be putting into the episode. It's not a, a blessing. Oh, it's a modest test of strength. Mm, not a big deal. Be nice to have the Master Sword, but oh well. It shouldn't be too long before it's uh, it's replenished. Oh yeah, what are you gonna do? Spin, spinny laser. Okay. Easy. Oh, I thought I could get the hit in time. Oh well. Let's use that broadsword we got earlier. Ha! <laughs> Killed him. Killed him. That was fairly easy, aside from that one hit that I took. Frostblade. Hmm. I think that's worth dropping a piddly spear for. Cool. Two more shrines, and we can get a second stamina wheel upgrade. All right. Cool. Well, we made a lot of progress in this episode. We, Oh, shoot. I didn't activate the tower. I was so busy. <laughs> oh, my apologies. I was so busy trying to get to this friggin' shrine that I forgot to actually activate the tower. Uh, let's go and do that real quick. All right, sorry about that, um, but we're here now, we did it. Wow, like my brain totally fabricated the memory of having activated the tower, too. That was weird. I really should, like, take a break, I think. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, so, yeah, I think that'll do it for this episode. Uh, we made great progress. We... Got a few shrines in Gerudo Tower in uh, the Highlands region, and we've gotten. We basically completed the quest for the snow boots and the sand boots. Once we get to Gerudo Town, we can just turn them in. So, yeah, that's. This is good. In spite of my absolute brain fart, <laughs> we made some pretty good progress, so I'm, I'm quite pleased with this. So um, I think that'll do it for this episode, though. On the next episode, uh, we might just catapult our way, our way over to uh, Gerudo Town. Or I guess more specifically to Karakara Bazaar over there. Uh, so we can get the, uh, the outfit and make it into town uh, without, without too much issue. So yeah, I think on the next episode, we're, we're really going to focus on getting started uh, on going to Vanna Boris and maybe even on the episode after that we'll uh, head into Vanna Boris and get our third divine beast already so much faster progress than I thought but that's the power of the master sword for you that's what I choose to believe <laughs> combined with my my own skill and charisma <laughs> so so yeah there's a, a lot of a lot of stuff for us to do but we still uh, made some good progress so far so until we get over into those areas. I will see you later.